Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be doing something fun. Kind of. I don't know if you're still interested in PS3 modding, maybe. Anyway, so today we're going to be doing a video. We're going to be starting a series, which I was really on the fence about for a while. Um, because uh, I'm not a big fan of cheating in video games, especially on like competitive games uh, like CSGO. It really makes me... Uh, it's it's a really annoying when you're playing in a competitive game like CS:GO and you find cheaters. It's really really grinds your gears. But uh, y you know, PS3 it's it's pretty old now. Nobody really cares about PS3 anymore. Black Ops 3 nobody cares about Black Ops 3 even less so on the PS3. And um, and on top of that, I would like to encourage you guys to only use this for offline modding, right? So testing on your own. Um, or private match with friends, maybe, if you want to do it to them. But don't use it in online matches, please. It's going to ruin other people's experience. Uh, it's just, it's not going to make for a fun time. So, obviously, I can't stop you, but please don't use it for that. You know, it's I, I, don't, I don't want people's experience to be ruined. This is for more of a learning thing. So, if you're interested in creating an SPRX for Black Ops 3 on PS3, then let's go ahead and get into it. So, the first thing you're going to need is Visual Studio 2010, but not just any... Visual Studio 2010. You're going to need the one with the PS3 plugins installed. Um, I cannot provide a link for which because it's uh, well, it wouldn't be very legal for me to do so because they're uh, they're not exactly they're considered whereas. So yeah, you can find those on your own. And once you have, you can go ahead and open the Visual Studio, go to New Project, and you should see under Visual C++ SCE PS3. Now before we go into actually creating the project. Let's talk about PS3's or, or Sony's uh, compiler with C++ for a minute. It's absolutely terrible. This isn't real C++. And I'm going to show you guys why. It's, it's terrible. Anyway, so we're going to create a PPU project, right? As you can see over here, there's PRX. I'm going to name mine. Um, that should be in there. And I'm going to name mine DO3 Menu. Okay. So when we do this, it's going to bring up this beautiful little wizard. We're just going to hit next. Here, we're going to hit project type. We're going to switch it to PRX, and we're going to leave this all alone, except for use precompiled there. We don't need that. And then you're going to hit finish. So when that's done, it's going to bring up the source file, PRX.C++. Um, yeah. So let's, let's get into this monstrosity. So monstrosity, I mean, like... The, their version of C++. So we're going to make an includes header file. Um, now basically, if you do not know any C++ or C coming into this tutorial series, I'm, I recommend you go learn it. I'm not going to be going over the basics of like PPDs and all that kind of stuff. If you want to jump headfirst into it, by all means, but like I said, I'm not going to be taking the tutorial slow with, uh, with things like that. So we're going to make an includes header. It was not made by me. It was made by a majestic Australian named Winter. Uh, so, so yeah, we're we're gonna use his uh, wonderful files here, and then we're gonna leave that for now. We're gonna add more includes later on, but uh, right now we're just setting up the menu. Right here, you can see these things. We do not need to generate a stub. I don't even know what the purpose of that is. It's stupid. So we're gonna remove that. And in here, these things. I don't like these things. They're annoying. So I'm gonna make a pragma region so I can minimize it. So I'm gonna call it sys modules. That's what I call it in every project that I make. And of course, we have to do a pragma end region. Oh my god, I can't type today. So that what that'll allow us to do is do that. Hey, beautiful. Now we don't have to see that ugly stuff anymore. But uh, right now we do because we have to actually edit it. So sysmodule info, that'll be automatically created for you. It has to be the name of your project. Uh, I'm pretty sure anyway because I think I've gotten link er errors if I've tried to change that. And then we'll just leave 011. Sys module start. I like to change this because this name I don't really like. It's too long. So I like to change it to underscore start. It's a lot simpler. So we're going to have to change a few other things as well. This hub uh, stub export function. Don't need it, once again, because we removed the other part too. And then right in here, this is the part we're going to be interested in here. So extern C. So this we're going to rename to what we put in here. So we're going to put underscore start. Void, we're going to leave that because it doesn't take any arguments. So. I'm going to change this to start OK. It's just like a constant. And then right above that return, we're going to actually create a thread. So we're going to do sys ppu thread oop, create. We're going to call it menu thread underscore t menu thread. Do, do, no, I'll explain all this in a second. Two zero. We'll give it a lot of stack space. 
Uh, sys ppu thread create joinable. And this is the name of the thread, so I'm just going to call this bo3 YouTube menu, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So, so that right there. That is basically the handle for the thread that we're going to create, which we forgot to create because I forgot. We're going to do up here, we're going to do sysppu thread t menu thread underscore t. Okay, so that's the basically the handle for a thread. So that's the, the reference to our thread handle, and then that's going to be the function that we actually thread, which we're going to make in a second. Anyway, 1002, that's the priority of the thread, where I'm just going to leave that at 1002. This is the stack size. This is a very big stack size, obviously, uh, but you might want that um, because, you know, we're, we're going to be adding some stuff in here, obviously. SPU, PP, 3 cream, blah, 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 blah. That's just going to be for what kind of a thread it is. And then that's going to be the thread name that comes up in the... Um, in the target manager when we're actually looking at it and debugging it. So now we're going to go ahead and create a function for that thread. So we're, we said we were going to call it, it's going to be a void, it's not going to return anything. We're going to call it menu thread, and it's going to take one argument. It's going to take uint 64t arg. Okay? That argument is useless. We're not going to use that. I don't even know why we have to pass it to it, but we do. Um, you're seeing a lot of red underlines right now. That's fine. But that's because we haven't actually included our includes header. header, And uh, you're still going to have them because Visual Studio is annoying. So inside of this, we're just going to make a for loop, an infinite loop. And we're just going to leave it right now, void like that for now. God, I can't talk today. And we're going to be actually implementing the menu in the next video. We're going to start implementing the menu a little bit. So that is basically it. All we have to do now is include our uh, our includes files. So we'll go over to header files. We're going to add a new item when it opens. We're going to add a header file and we're going to call it includes.h. And in here, I'm going to have a paste bin for it below because it's very large. But there we go. There's everything. It includes everything we're going to need. Um, yeah, look at all those includes. It's nice that we have them in a file. It would suck if we had to put all those in our actual source file. That would be just amazing. Anyway, yeah, file credits to winner for that. Thanks, man. So you got the uh, the PRX set up here, and then if we go ahead and build, beautiful. Okay, so we got one succeeded. So that's good, right? That shows that everything's that everything's been included, despite all these red lines. I'm gonna close that because I don't like that. Um, this, right? We're still getting that that's undefined. Although if we go to the definition, like. It's still going to take us there, even like when we scan through all the files. I'm just not going to bother. Like, they are there. They're, it is going to work. The red lines are just annoying. You know, they. I don't even know why they're there. Now, let's talk about why this C++ is ridiculous. Things like that won't work. You can't include things that make C++ C++. In an SPRX, you cannot include string, you cannot include vector, you cannot include any of those kinds of libraries. You can't even use malloc, I don't believe. I don't even think the time I tried to use malloc, I think you have to implement it yourself. Same as uh, str copy. All of those things. It's ridiculous. It's, it's like it's a broken C. It's not even C++. It's not even full C. It's it's really kind of a pathetic excuse for their compiler. It really sucks. Um, there are some people like John that have actually uh, done a string library, like a custom one that you can use. But it's just, I find it ridiculous that they call it C++. And, like, you can't even use classes in this properly. You have to use structures. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please leave a like below. Comment any questions or comments you may have on the video. Uh, except for asking for the link for the PS3 SDK because it won't link it, and subscribe. And uh, in the next video, we're going to be actually implementing the menu thread function, and we're going to be uh, starting to lay down kind of like the skeleton and the foundation for our menu.